Do you recall the visit of Eleanor Donahue? Uh, uh, well, any any celebrity like that, <coughs> would ever, I would think everybody would have remembered. Oh yeah. Lady. Well, somebody, I guess, bet Tennyson Don, who was I understand a doctor <coughs> right. in California. That, and I don't know how the subject came up, but they bet him that he would not ask her for a date to the ring dance. And, you know, that's the last thing you say to a cadet. Right. <laughs> so he did, and she said yes. Of course, she came with, you know, the bodyguards and stuff, but <laughs> and she did come. <laughs> yes, she did come. <clears throat> and the Pershing Rifles met her train. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, once that happened, boy, you know, <laughs> red carpet from one end to the other. And we had another one, one of the first football games at Atlantic City that we played. Board of Trustees, you weren't on it yet. No. Had a meeting, and the 100th anniversary of engineering was coming up, and they wanted to have something special. One of the trustees, and I don't know who was, knew Bob Hope. So, yeah, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. He went to the phone, and he called Bob Hope at home. And Bob Hope said, yes, sure, call my secretary Monday morning, and we'll set up a date, which we did, and he came. Hmm. And it was over in McMorland Center. Uh, it was snowing, and they had the canopy out, because Art Littman was running around like a chicken with his head off, trying to make sure everything went right. Hope was a little late. Pulled up, got out of the car, and there were a group of kids from Chester across the street. He said, who were they? And Art said, they were just here to see you. He's already late. He stopped everything, walked across the street, shook hands with all the kids, then went into the dinner. <laughs>